Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about styled components for styled system versus rebase. So these are libraries that help you build an application with component-based design. Component-based design is the practice of splitting your UI into small isolated parts. So if you have certain styles or designs that you use in more than one place, or you frequently use on more than one page, then instead of creating a class and using that class in different areas of your application, you create one component with that styling and use that specific component throughout your application. The idea here is that you should be able to re uh, reduce duplicate CSS and reduce the time that's necessary to make small changes to the UI, like changing color or adjusting space. So I'll give you a quick overview of styled components for styled system versus rebase. So we'll start with styled components. This is the documentation website here. Uh, so styled components is a CSS and JS library that allows you to define styled components with encapsulated styles without the need for CSS classes. So what this means is that if you want to create a title component in your application, so maybe you use titles on more than one page, maybe you're showing a list of projects or you have a blog or something and the title always has the same styling, instead of creating a class and using that class throughout your application, you just create a component called title and it will render an H1 tag with these uh, styles that you include here. Um, I can also show you an example in a project that I'm working on. So uh, I created an overlay uh, component and basically this allows me to render text uh, over an image on hover. And so I call this overlay component inside of my project component here. So overlay. And it's basically just a wrapper div that allows text to display on hover. Um, so that's styled components. I think of this as like the backbone of what the other libraries are based off of. So next we'll get to styled system. So styled system complements a CSS and JS library such as styled components and offers a collection of utility functions that add style props such as space, width, font size, color to components. Uh, you can also create a theme.js file with your specific design system included and then use this theme file to set your parameters on your components. So this is the documentation website here. Um, gives you some information on how to get started. Here's a quick example on how it works. You can import uh, this color function from styled system and then once you create a component, in this case it's called box, you'll be able to set the color uh, depending on the variable in your in your theme.js file. So it might be easier to show you an example of this. So in my uh, portfolio site I created here, um, so here is a component created called text and I'm passing in font size and font weight from styled system. Um, I'm also passing in a theme get function. So the theme get actually allows me to call a color from my theme.js file. So I'm calling colors black zero. So if I go to my theme.js and I go to my colors black and index zero, it's setting my color to this value here. So rather than using this specific value in my components all over the place, I can keep things consistent by just calling that specific index from my theme.js file. And if I go to my home page, and then I can show you here how I'm using uh, how I'm using styled system to set the font size dynamically. So it allows you to create an array, and these arrays break down into responsive styles. So when the page is at its largest, the font size will be three. When it's at whatever breakpoint you have as two, it'll be a little bit smaller. And when it's at its smallest, it'll be font size one. So these breakpoints correlate to the breakpoints that you have in your theme.js file. And then your font sizes correlate to what you have uh, also in your theme.js file. So if I go to my application and I show you how my font size gets smaller and smaller as I adjust the page. Again, this is a pretty simple example, but hopefully it just clarifies some stuff for you that took a while for me to figure out. And then finally, I'll show you Rebase. So Rebase was built using styled system, which I just showed you and it provides eight foundational UI components. Uh, these components are box, flex, text, 
heading, button, link, image, and card. So it's kind of a shortcut. So instead of you needing to go through and create a component, in this case, the way I created text here, instead of creating this component, I could have just called text from rebase. I could have done something like import text from rebase and then just use this text uh, value in my project um, instead of creating this actual component. So actually this, I wouldn't have done this here. I would have done this where I use uh, the text value. So I think I do that in my blog here. Yeah, exactly. So instead of importing my text from the component, like I do here, I could do something like import text and then I would already have access to the props like color, space, font size, width, and responsive styles. I wouldn't need to import the styles the way I did here from styled system. It's already built in with rebase. It gives you access to these uh, foundational UI components. And I can show you an example of this in my image container. So here, my image container is actually extending the uh, box component from rebase. So I basically take the component that they created, and then I'm adding styles to it. Um, so again, there's many ways to go about this and to create your components and to style them, but these are three libraries that I've been playing around with, and I think they're pretty effective. So hopefully this clarifies uh, a little bit for you, and if you have any questions um, or comments, please leave them below.